Today, I want to talk a little bit about possibly some good news. We're starting to move back into some semblance of normalcy. Practices are being scheduled for some of you. Some of you are able to begin to work out uh, in smaller groups. And hopefully, within the next month or two, most of you will be back at your sport to, at one level or another. What I'd like to, to do today is I want to talk a little bit about some of the mental traps that might be lying in wait for you and how you can avoid them and make the transition back to your sport as smooth as possible under these circumstances. I'm Dr. Alan Goldberg. I'm a sports performance consultant. I've been doing this work with professional athletes, collegiate and amateur athletes for like 37 years or so. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to talk about your headset as you return to uh, your sport. Because a lot of you for the last couple, even three months, haven't been able to train. There hasn't been any ice, there's been no pool time. Some of you are actually lucky enough that you have a sport that you're at least able to work on skills in your backyard. Dribbling, uh, dribbling a basketball, dribbling a soccer, soccer ball, that sort of thing. But one of the key things to keep in mind here is that the best way to get back is oftentimes what you might experience is the slowest way. Let me see if I can uh, explain. Um, as you start coming back, you're going to discover some things that aren't so, uh, how do I put this? They're not pleasing. You're going to be out of shape. Your timing's going to be off. Um, your skill set will have diminished a little bit, your muscle memory is a little shaky, and most athletes who are serious have very high expectations and very high standards for themselves. And they don't like it when they're not performing to those standards and those expectations. But I have to say, what we've just been through is unprecedented. Okay, we've never experienced anything like this in a number of generations. And so it's really important as you come back, that you do it smartly. And what do I mean by that? Well, the first thing I want to talk about is being kind to yourself, being able to forgive yourself, because you're not going to be sharp. You're not going to be at your best. In fact, you might be far from that. And so you need to really be kind and forgiving, okay? And allow yourself to have the time to gradually get your uh, skills back, to get them to come back online. And some of that may entail adjusting your goals and focusing more on short-term goals rather than that big goal you might have of a college scholarship or qualifying for Olympic trials or whatever your dream is. And what I mean by adjusting your short-term goals or focusing on them is you really want to work on coming back. You want to work on getting your timing back, you want to work on getting your endurance and your strength and your skills back online. That's going to take some time. And what it requires of you is to be patient with yourself, to, to understand that sometimes the fastest way back is the slowest. And let me give you a prescription that I'd like to have bopping around in the back of your mind during this process, which you can expect is going to be incredibly frustrating for you. And that prescription is, go slower, arrive sooner. If you try to rush the process, if you try to push yourself and press yourself to get your skills back and to make up for all of this lost time, the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to rev your nervous system right up into the red zone, you're going to end up getting frustrated, your muscles are going to tighten up, and they're going to refuse to cooperate with you. So you really have to understand that the fastest way back is the slowest way. You need to take it step by step. You need to really be patient with yourself. And in the process of that, it's really important that you stay focused on what you're dealing with and not other people. In other words, 
you want to stay away from comparisons. You don't want to be looking around and see where everyone else is and measuring yourself that way. For one thing, if you do that, that's just going to erode your confidence and it's going to demoralize you. But even more important than you comparing yourself with other people and making sure you don't do it, you don't want to compare yourself with how you used to be. Because that's what we have a tendency to do. Athletes coming back from injuries, they've been out a month or two months, um, and all of us coming back from what we've just been through, you know, it's very easy to look at how you used to be, to look at that high level of performance that you had achieved, and to try to measure yourself that way. And you really need to throw that, those expectations out the window for now. I promise you, if you're a serious athlete and a dedicated athlete, your skills are going to come back. And the kinder you are, and the more patient you are with yourself, and the more relaxed you are in terms of giving yourself room to get your skills back online, the easier this process is going to be for you. So what I'd ask you in closing to kind of keep in mind is, if you're getting frustrated and getting angry, that is a sure sign that you're pressuring yourself too much, that you're pushing the envelope too hard, that you're rushing. And you want to use those signs if you are feeling uh, frustration and pressure and, and anger. You want to use those signs to slow down, to take your time. You've got plenty of time to get things back. Okay, because when we rush, we make mistakes and we set ourselves back. Go slower, arrive sooner. Now, if you'd like this uh, video, and you want to hear more of them, you want to be tuned in to when my next video comes out, hit that bell icon. Please leave me your comments. You've heard me say this many times. I really would like to make these relevant to you. I'd like to make them personal. And your comments and even suggestions about, you know, what topics for me to cover next, that would be great. That would be really helpful. Thank you for listening. Stay safe.